Hi guys, it's Alice and today I'm going to talk about my April favorites. We're going to start with stuff that I have watched. I have two TV series and two movies and the first TV series is Law and Order Special Victims Unit. When I looked this up, I found out that this show has been running since 1999. Which is just crazy, but good for them. If by some off chance you've never come across this show, it's a drama series and it follows a group of detectives in New York and they investigate crimes dealing with rape, sexual assault and sometimes murder. And it kind of, it's kind of that like CSI type of show, although there aren't that many like forensics in it. I really like the show. The seasons that I watched were a little bit older because those were the ones that were available here and yeah. I really enjoyed it. I also watched another show in kind of a similar vein and it was NCIS. This is kind of the same shtick as Law and Order except this group of detectives they investigate crimes to do with the Navy and I remember watching this back in the day you know before streaming when you had to be in front of the TV at the right time. Does anyone remember that? <laughs> I used to watch it back then and I re-watched some of the older seasons because again that's what was available here and my favorite seasons are the ones with, if you've seen it, the character Siva David. I loved her when I watched her back in the day and yeah, those are the seasons that I watched and it was very nostalgic and enjoyable. Then moving on to movies, I watched a movie that was recommended to me by one of you in the comments and it was Forgotten. This is a Korean mystery thriller and the story starts off with this young man who is moving into a house with his parents and his brother. And it quickly becomes apparent that there is something odd going on in this house, like there's a room they're not allowed to go into, and then things take a turn. You kind of just have to watch this movie, like I don't want to talk about it too much because you just, I don't want to spoil anything, but it was really really good. It was very exciting and very twisty and I had no idea where the story was going to go at all. It was a little bit confusing sometimes but I really really liked it. I also watched a movie that has been on my watch list forever and it was What We Do in the Shadows. I don't really even know how to explain this movie accurately but it's like a mockumentary about a group of vampires living in New Zealand and they share a house. <laughs> And it, it's so stupid, but it's so freaking funny. Like, I can't even talk about it without starting to laugh because it's so silly, but it's so good somehow. I am also aware that they have made a TV series with the same name and it's like kind of the same thing, except I think it's set in America. And I really want to watch it, but I don't think it's available in Norway, at least nothing that I have access to, I don't think. But if it's anything like the movie, it's probably really, really funny. <laughs> Moving on to something else, I have got a YouTube channel favorite this month, and it is Yoga with Adrian. I feel like if you've ever tried to find a yoga video on YouTube, you will have come across Adrian. I found her actually a few years ago because I did some yoga videos for like neck pain and headaches, and that really helped. I sort of stopped doing them because I stopped getting headaches. But I've sort of gotten back into doing them now. I found that about three weeks ago, I was sitting on the couch and I could just feel myself being so incredibly stiff and really uncomfortable and it sort of started feeling a little bit painful, which has never really happened to me before, I don't think. Maybe I'm just getting old, I don't really know. But during this pandemic, I have been incredibly inactive. Like, I've been in self-isolation most of the time, and I'm not an active person in general, but I think that because I haven't been working as much, I haven't been, like, out and about as much, I've just been sitting still too much. So I try to, like, stretch it out with a little bit of yoga, and it actually helps a lot. Now, I am so inflexible. <laughs> Like, it's really, really bad. I don't know how people bend like that, but I'm just doing my best. And I do like 20 to 30 minutes of yoga every other day-ish, and it really helps with not being stiff. I find Adrienne's videos really easy to follow along. I haven't tried any of her like advanced ones. The ones that I've tried are very like simple and 
pretty easy to follow, I feel. Like I said, I can't really bend that much, but I do my best and it really, really helps. I do, I am one of those people who like, my stress sits in my neck and I get like really stiff. So doing that really, really helps. And I'm not trying to be like some sort of yoga guru. I'm not that into it. I just want to feel like a regular human and that helps. Second to last, we have got some skincare stuff. And I've sort of, in the past few weeks, tried to have some like spa evenings to myself. Honestly, just to have something to do. And I love skincare in general, like I love doing face masks and stuff. But I've been doing a lot of these because I have them and I also bought a new one and I love them. And it's these pots from the body shop. I actually have five of these to show you because I am super duper extra. <laughs> But these are like face masks, if you don't know, and if you've ever tried the fresh face masks from Lush, they're kind of like that, except they don't expire within two weeks. Now, I do kind of have this collection because I've gotten some of them as like Christmas gifts and stuff, but I do love them, so if I didn't get them as gifts, I probably would have bought them myself. Either way, the first one is this one. It's Himalayan Charcoal. This is a purifying glow mask. Now, out of all of these, this is the one that most looks like mud and dirt. <laughs> but this is actually the first one that I tried by them. I think it's one of the first ones that the Body Shop made, and I really, really like it. It purifies your skin, at least that's what it feels like it does. I've also got this Chinese ginseng and rice mask, and this is supposed to be clarifying and polishing. And out of all of these, this is probably... My favorite one and the one that I use the most. I really really like it because it makes my skin feel really soft afterwards and it's one of the less messy ones. And then I have this Japanese matcha tea mask. This says it's pollution clearing and to be honest I don't really know what that means but it feels really good. We've got two more and these are my most recent additions to my little collection. We've got this Nicaraguan Coffee Intense Awakening Mask. And this one is kind of like coffee jelly, which sounds like... That really is what it feels like. I don't know another way to explain it, but it's kind of like an exfoliating thing and it's supposed to wake you up. And then lastly, we have this Ethiopian Honey Deep Nourishing Mask. And this I use when my skin feels really dry and really like tired and sort of not that glowy and fabulous. I use this and it's wonderful. I realize I've got too many of these, like five is, is too much, but I just love these face masks. I love doing face masks and it just feels like such a treat. And you can keep them on for like five, ten minutes if you want to or longer. And I'd really recommend them. I think they're really, really good. Although you don't need five. Like, that's too much. But maybe one, just to sort of treat yourself. Now, lastly, we've got my favorite event of the month. And as I'm sure you can imagine, I haven't been doing a whole lot this month because I've just been going to work and then coming home and staying at home because that's what you're supposed to do. But there's been something happening in my neighborhood that's been really nice. And it's a guy who lives... I don't actually know where he lives, I haven't seen him, but there's a guy living around here who's been having these like balcony concerts, so he plays his, I'm guessing electric guitar on his balcony and he's been singing and holding concerts and everyone has been gathering and by gathering I mean everyone is standing on their balconies <laughs> listening to this guy sing and he's really really good. And he posts on Facebook what songs everyone wants to hear and then he plays like the top three or four. And it's been really really nice. It's been a way to sort of gather in the neighborhood without actually gathering. It's been just a really nice little break from everything. Like you could just open your window or go outside and just listen to music for like 10 minutes. It's been really really nice and it's just a sweet thing to do. Okay guys, those are all of my favorites from April. I'd love to know what you guys have been loving lately and I'll see you soon. Bye!